So I am back from TFCon. I, I kind of lost my voice, so I'm going to apologize for how I sound normally with the segments. Uh, it was a very busy weekend. I'm going to go deep into that later tonight. I figured because we weren't able to do a Saturday night live stream for a whole bunch of stupid reasons, which I'll get into when we do that. We're going to do a live stream tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, so be sure to check that out if you want to hang out, do some super chats, ask some questions, and just hear about how the weekend was and all the crazy stuff and shenanigans and even a little bit of drama. So we'll get into that later tonight. But today we're going to talk about some news, and we're going to talk about some Transformers Earthspark news that has been starting to pop up. Uh, San Diego Comic-Con is still around the corner. We're slowly starting to see all these panels and everything that's happening with San Diego Comic-Con. Um, and... We know all the Thursday panels. We have all those reveals that are going to be happening with the Transformers Legacy line, the Hasbro Transformers product reveal panel that's going to be with Ben from marketing and Evan from the design team. But there's going to be more that weekend, and it's slowly trickling out. And today we're going to talk about what we're going to be happening in terms of the Nickelodeon panels, Nickelodeon's booth that's going to be at San Diego Comic-Con, and more importantly, Nickelodeon's uh, information that they've dropped on us on the names of characters. We, we're starting to learn now who these characters are that we saw a while back with these trailers. And so Nickelodeon, they're going to have a panel uh, on Friday. It's going to be July 22nd at 2.15 p.m. until 3.15 p.m. in room 6A. And a nice hour-long panel talking about the new Transformers series, Transformers Earthspark. Now, Transformers Earthspark is going to be debuting on Paramount Plus first, and then will be probably on the Nickelodeon channel at some undisclosed point afterwards. It's just kind of the deal that Hasbro has with the Transformers brand with Paramount right now. <clears throat> uh, we learn, we're going to be learning about some of the new characters. Uh, we already know now voice actors that are be, going to be linked with those characters. So obviously Bumblebee, uh, is going to be in this series, and he's going to be voiced by Danny Putty. Uh, probably the best example of what he's done in the past is he was Huey in the brand new DuckTales cartoon series. And for people who haven't watched that, don't worry, he's not going to sound like that, like the old Huey from the 90s Disney Afternoon DuckTales. Um, he's, the, the new Huey voice in the 2017 series is you know a lot better, so <laughs> don't worry about that. Uh, we learned about the two names of the two new characters that we see in all the promotional material. That that silvery, brownish car kind of looking guy and that red female helicoptery whirl looking kind of character. So the car looking, motorcycle looking car dude is going to be called Thrash. Um, he's going to be voiced by Zeno Robinson. Zeno Robinson probably best known of like he's done he has a a big list of stuff but probably the stuff that you'd probably know him for best uh would be the new he-man tv series he was stratos in that the he-man masters of the universe tv series that came out in 2022 and uh in young justice he was cyber he was um cyborg but the the young justice tv series that was in 2019 to 2022 so he was cyborg in that i think he was some other characters too but i know he was cyborg in that so that's probably the one that you'd remember the most and the uh, helicopter girl or the hovercraft girl or whatever you want to call it um that looks like like kind of like a whirl like a red whirl kind of character from rescue bots uh her name is going to be twitch and she's going to be voiced uh by cat calvary and uh probably what she's best known for is she's miss marvel like kamala khan miss marvel across a lot of different media properties TV series, video games, like she's like the the standard Miss Marvel voice actress for, you know, a lot. Of, it's kind of like the Kevin Conroy when you got to do Batman and a lot of stuff. Uh, she's kind of that for Miss Marvel's uh, Kamala Khan version. So she's going to be Twitch. So it's kind of funny. It's like, yeah, if you have Thrash and Twitch are the name of these two new characters. And uh, that's all we really know about that thus far in terms of new characters. Who else is going to be in the series? We know that Alita One's going to be in it. We know that Optimus Prime is going to be in it. And Bumblebee, like I just mentioned before. We don't know much else outside of that. Uh, probably uh, July 22nd, we'll learn much more about it. But that's still, again, a week away and some change. So we'll learn about that. Uh, the Nickelodeon booth in the convention itself 
is going to also have a whole bunch of stuff there. They're going to have like a gigantic, like 18 foot, uh, earth spark bumblebee statue that you could take photos with and everything. And then they're going to have like a, an AR experience photography booth where you could take pictures in the AR world digitally with the characters of Twitch and Tra and Thrash. And I think the names of the two new humans are Robbie and Mo. They listed Robbie and Mo are the names of the two new human characters. Um, I don't know which one's Robbie and which one's Mo. <laughs> both of them could be uh, both male or female names, depending on how you, you paint it. So take a, you could tell me, I don't know. But uh, they're going to be there. There's going to be a whole bunch of QR code stuff in the booth that you could scan for all kinds of information and stuff. It's going to be interesting. It's going to be interesting. There's going to be a lot of information that's going to come just from that panel and that booth that's going to give us more uh, information about this TV series. And probably, you know, at that same time, we're probably, I, I can't confirm it, but we're probably going to have some maybe some Earth Spark toys in either a prototype or test shot form on display at the Hasbro booths at the show also, because this show's coming quickly. So, and yet we know so little about it. And this is going to be kind of our next media property for Transformers since Cyberverse has ended. We don't have a movie until next year. The comic books are ending soon. So there, we're kind of in this stagnant period. And of course, you know, the Netflix series is, are all kind of like done for now and both in BotBots and War for Cybertron. So this is going to be our next, you know, stop on the trip. And uh, hopefully Earthspark will be something that'll be enjoyable, something that'll bring a new freshness to the brand. Maybe, you know, some enjoyable characters, some enjoyable designs. Nick Roche is the one who did the designs on this series. So hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully it'll be good. And hopefully my voice will <laughs> recover soon because I'm just listening to myself and going like, oh, man, I sound terrible. Um, but yeah, hopefully we'll learn something else again tonight. We're going to uh, be doing a live stream. So I hope you guys come out. Uh, got a whole bunch of cool stuff, gifts, cool little things, you know, just stuff to talk about and everything like that. Uh, it was a pretty fun weekend at TFCon. So, you know, it was my grand return after two and a half years of the craziness of the big V and when the world just kind of went on on hold. And, uh, you know, we'll talk, we'll do some super chats. Uh, we'll do all that like we always do on Saturday. I'll explain why we didn't have a Saturday night live stream. I'm pretty sure a lot of people heard about what happened. Um, with the mobile services. And let me tell you something, there was a lot of deep reflecting on, uh, on how you can't just have us rely on one mobile company for ATMs, internet, television, da, da, da. It was, the world went to a halt. But I'll get into that in deeper and all the crazy stuff that happened over the three days at TFCon and all the fun stuff and the people I met and the hands that I shaked and the photos we took and the gifts that we got and the cool, the cool stuff that we found and everything like that. I'll talk to you guys real soon tonight. Hope to see you there.